Good morning, crafty friends. It's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what today is? It is release day at My Creative Time. It is the 142nd edition release, and we have a ton of goodies for you guys today. So make sure that you get your cards ready. Make sure that you get in on all this goodness because this is what summer crafting is all about, you guys. It is so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to go quickly go over all the new prod, uh, products and then I'm going to show you some projects that I made this week. It's just going to be sort of a recap of the last uh, three days videos. So let's get started. First and foremost, we have the new beautiful Gorgeous Gardens paper pad. And you have these patterns here. Which, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six patterns here. Very, very cute. We got a couple strawberries. We got a denim with a heart. We have a floral. We have a heart. And we have this really cute birdie. And then we also have some, these are patterned as well, but they're sort of a, a basic pattern just to mix and match with your different um, designer papers. It's so cute. Absolutely love these papers. They are beautiful. They have so many bright colors in there. So much fun. I mean, it just screams summer to me. We also have the new My Creative Time time birdhouse tag die with the layering pieces and a backing piece and then we have the birdhouse stamps and dies which are here and you have the beautiful little birds you guys these birds are adorable and they all layer up so pretty i love how she's done a backing layer for these a backing layer for the bird a backing layer for the birdhouse and as well as the big tag birdhouse so that's two separate sets there again that's the tag and this is the birdhouse stamps and dies here and then here are your stamps Super cute, you guys. There has been so much beautiful inspiration this month. It has been, or this week. It has just been awesome. We also have the new My Creative Time flower pot dies, which is this one. Again, you have a backer. Then you have this top piece and another layering piece with a little slit in the pot so that you can slide things down in it. And then this cute little layering scallop. And then you get these different hearts here that um, you can either cut out of the pot or you can cut into the pot. We also have our new garden stakes, stamps, and dies, which are these little um, three stakes here with the layering pieces and they're stitched, as well as their stamps. Super cute, you guys, so cute. We have the new strawberry plate die, which I absolutely love, and I need to grab another one of these because, you know, I have to cu cut everything multiples. And But this cuts out six strawberries. You get um, two small, two medium, and two large. You've got the stems, and then she included this piece here, which is the backing for these, so that you can, you know, you can cut it out of a different color and it, it fills in your little holes for you. And then we have the flower leaf plate die. Oh my gosh, how cute. This one's awesome. It, it really, you can just cut this once and it fills this little pot up with these cute um, strawberries so quickly. I love that. Then we have the My Creative Time Strawberry di uh, Tag Dies. And these, again, we have a backing piece so that, you know, your little holes won't show through. And then you've got the layering stem. And then we also have the Strawberry Flowers Plate. This one is amazing. You cut out all these flowers all at once. You've got one, two, three, four different flowers and three different centers. Absolutely adorable. Love, love, love. I love this flower and I love this size here. But I love the stitching on the flower. Absolutely. So cute. And then we also have the new My Creative Time Gingers 1 and 2 Garden add-ons and these are adorable you guys so cute you've got the overalls for a boy and overalls for a girl and then you've got your garden tools you've got all your layering pieces you got two different hats this one has a little bow that you can add to the hat your little flower pots adorable so you have it for the original gingers and then you have it for the ginger companions or the sweet ginger person so stinking cute I love these. And then last but not least, we had a 5x5 five five card layer dies. And this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 um, five by 5x5 five layering pieces. And then you've got 4 sort of label or tag pieces. Super cute. These are amazing. So... I did several projects this week, and I absolutely loved every one of them. 
Um, I'm going to show you really quickly some of the other dyes that I used in some of these projects. So, of course, I used the Sweet Ginger Companion. This is two sets because I have um, two or three of each one of these gingers because I like to cut them double time. I use the Mushrooms um, Dyes with Stamps. This is from last month. Super cute. Use the Tiny Flowers Plate a lot. And then the Leaf Plate. That's from last month as well. I use the Butterfly Plate. Again, that's one from last month. I use the Create a Treat Bag. And I use the small one here to turn the pot and the flower uh, and the birdhouse into a little treat box. I use the 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter um, card layering dies. I used the 3x3 three three square die. Love this one. It's one of my favorites. I used one of the little tiny tags. I used this piece from Stay Beautiful on some of my cards. And, of course, I used my little mini bows. I love these mini bows so much. So, that is all the additional stuff that I used for my projects. So, just let me show you some of my projects. Um, this is with the 5x5 five five layering dies card layering dies you guys this is so cute i've got the pot i've got the little ginger all gardened up there he's holding a little tool we've got that steak with one of the little signs we've got the strawberries we've got the leaf plate we've got the strawberry flowers plate we got a lot going on in this picture but it's so 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 cute this project is so cute i love this look at that strawberry paper in the background i mean how can you not it is awesome then i did this one which again like i said i used that um create a treat box piece here and I turned the flower pot into a little treat container you could put all kinds of things down in there I just had some little roses sit down in there but you could put like actual little treats in there then I've used the little girl um, garden pieces how cute and look look at that little layering piece that it comes at the top where you can make her look super cute oh my gosh again leaves flowers the little steak the little birdhouse that those tiny little bows she's holding a little strawberry too oh my gosh can't can't stand it it's so cute here is another one using the um birdhouse tag die and i turned it into a shaker i've got some of the roll flowers from a couple months ago i've got those flower leaf i've got the strawberry um i've got these strawberries here a little flower the five by five layers so cute i love this I also have this little flower pot, super bright colors. This one's really simple. I haven't turned this into anything or put it on anything, but it'd be beautiful on a card. I love this. I just love the colors in it. So cute. Then I also did um, a... I took this little notebook that I got from Dollar Tree and it came like this with the strawberries and the cherries on it and I added one of those big strawberries to the front and a bow and then there's that little tiny tag with one of the little sentiments. Super simple and just added a cute little pen. I think this would be cute for just a little pickup kind of gift or just a just because for somebody in your office or whatever. I did another little card and... This one's got the little mushroom sitting inside the pot. I've got my strawberries. We've got those leaf um, dies. We've got the strawberry flower dies. I've got my little butterfly plate die here. Super cute. Got the little steak dies in there. Look at my little tiny snail. So cute. Then I also did this one. Oops. This is the um, birdhouse treat or a birdhouse tag die, and I turned it into a little treat box. Super cute. And then I have a few cards and last to show you guys. The first one is this one. I use that little double tiered birdhouse. Here's that little um, layered or that sorry that little label die from the, the little gnome set. So cute. And there's all those little tiny flowers from the tiny flower plate. Everything's all layered up. I love the backing piece. Love it. And then the last two little cards, little three by three cards that I created were these. And I just love them as well. Again, I used some of those tiny flowers from the tiny flowers plate. 
I absolutely love all these projects, you guys. Don't forget, you can use my code MELISSA to save 15% off from today until Sunday. Um, and then it's 10% off any time after that. But, I mean, you really want to grab up some of these goodies. Get your list ready. Now, you, you're going to want to get... I mean, these are just adorable. There's so many um, cute card layering dies now. I mean, to add to your, you know, your basic crafty stash, there's so much you can do with these dies i love them this paper is phenomenal it is so so cute i am so excited all week to work with these pro products i can't talk this morning you guys <laughs> sorry but anyway don't forget um that the code is good for 15 percent off friday saturday and sunday and then 10 percent off any time after that so i don't want you guys to miss out on that extra discount it is an affiliate code so i do make a little bit off of it and i do appreciate it but more than that i want you guys to get you know as much of a discount as you can i can't believe all the inspiration that the design team members have had go check out everybody's video there is a chance to win next month's release so i will post everything below if you have any questions or comments please leave them i love reading your comments you guys really make my day Anyway, you guys, happy shopping and happy crafting until the next crafty video.